<laughs> hey YouTube, I'm headed off on another fishing adventure. I'm gonna be fishing with Jagged Tooth and John A. And I am so excited to hit the hard water again. Um, again, early ice, always important to be safe. So have a buddy system. So we just drilled a few holes on each side and then we're just gonna go and check for fish, maybe try them all and just keep moving out to the point that we see out there. Yeah. Look at that guy. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Big mark. No, 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 no. I had a big mark come off the bottom. I don't know what it is. It's not that big of a fish, I don't think. I don't, I'm not really reeling. Like I can't reel. Waxworm? Yeah, a waxworm and a... <laughs> That's a nice walleye. Yeah. First walleye of the 2018 ice season. That's a lie. I caught some this spring and in big ones. First walleye of the 2018 slash 2019 hard water season. Here we go. Here we go again. That's not what I wanted. A baby walleye. So I am using an inline reel, 13 fishing black Betty. I've got four pound ice braid on. Honestly, I don't think I would put braid back on an inline reel. I'm, my favorite thing is braided line for so many reasons, especially its flexibility, its sensitivity, and it's all over toughness. Um, but, and there's no line memory, but it just doesn't feel like, it something doesn't feel quite right. Um, but it's pretty fun. The drag can be a little goofy, so like when I reel in, it doesn't catch all the time, but all in all, it is fun. It's all I'm using today. Um, and then jagedtoothtackle.com sold me and Matt this, um, 23 inch ultralight rod. Very sensitive tip, and it's fun to fish with. Like. We are very much bargain rod fi ice fishermen people like we'll just stick a indicator at the end like a little bobber or any type of little indicator at the end instead of investing in a good rod and this for the price is a lot of fun it's a panfish rod but i've been having fun with the walleye today the two the two walleye that i caught pretty cool so what we did was just start back by the access there's people there now but there wasn't anyone here when we were here originally and then just started um, drilling, you know, holes all the way up and we've just been working our way up here. I just pulled a walleye. We're not, as we've gotten out a little bit deeper, we're 14 feet. So then we drill a bunch, slowly work our way up to the point, check for safe ice, etc. Pretty typical day on early ice. Safety first. And then I caught that, must have been 12, 13 inch walleye. It wasn't big. Eh, it might be 14. We're gonna just keep, we're gonna make it bigger. Maybe it was a 15 inch walleye. I caught that on a five millimeter jig and a wax worm. Then I caught the uh, smaller walleye just on a cast master tipped with a minnow. Pretty cool. Look at him chase it up the column. Just surges up the column. But if I let him get too close, they back out. Like they must, got him, got him. 
I was, it just looked like such a big mark, but obviously I know my flashers. Yourself. What? I know you're filming, my camera didn't turn off. Man! He came off the bottom so fast. Nope. <laughs> that was so fun though. This was a good day on the ice, just to get a couple of walleye. We weren't here very long, it was a lot of fun. I heard Red Lake is froze over, so you better bet. Booked myself a hotel. Two weeks, and I am so ready for those, you know, 40, 50 walleye days. That's the goal. So yeah, a couple more pan fishing trips before then, and then I'm chasing the walleye. It's me and Matt's favorite.